Hi, my name is Ad and I'm the head of data science here at XYSense. In this video, I'll be taking you through a glimpse of the broad range of analytics that XYSense offers real estate teams, starting with a portfolio level analysis, being able to drill into how individual spaces and space types are being utilized and ending with some predictive planning and workplace optimization strategies. Now, before I get stuck into some dashboards, it's important to stress that XYSense sensors can obtain real-time utilization data across all areas of a floor plate, irrespective of whether you're talking about a desk, a meeting room, a soft seating area, or even a kitchen table. So long as you have adequate sensor coverage and line of sight to that particular space, you can obtain reporting on it. Now, with that in mind, let's jump into the first example of a dashboard, which is what a global deployment might look like. And this is the global portfolio dashboard. So when you have real estate all over the world, the metrics that matter most are your portfolio utilization, the cost of your unutilized space, and being able to break up your utilization by your different space types. So in this case, work points versus collaboration spaces. So almost like a real-time barometer as to how hybrid your workplace is. It's important to not only have those utilization metrics, but break those down by region of the world, country, and also track them over time against a set of user-defined targets. Now on a national level, you're looking at very similar metrics and functionality, but really what you're concerned with here is analyzing the performance of each individual location, and that is a floor and a location of that specific country. So in this case, it might be level two of the Melbourne office. And really what we want to do here is for the purpose of lease management, compare and contrast which are the better performing floors in my real estate portfolio versus which are the weaker performing floors. So which are the ones which are less occupied than others. Next, we jump into the specific space types and spaces that are within those floors. So we start off with work points. And really when we're talking about work point analytics, it's what is my work point utilization? How long are work points being used? What is the peak number of work points being used on any given day? So this is incredibly important to analyze um, details for capacity planning. So am I ever reaching the peak number of desks that I have within my office? And if so, do I need to consider adding more desks? Also breaking up utilization by different teams or neighborhoods. So if I jump back to the floor plan mapping, you can see that we can actually assign a virtual geofence around a group of desks or even a group of spaces and give that um, or assign that to a specific team or neighborhood. And that allows me to contrast the utilization of IT versus marketing, for example. Also getting a floor plan view and a heat map view of which are the hotter and cooler areas of my office. Next, we move on to collaborative space utilization and a collaborative space can be any multi-person use space, be it a meeting room, soft seating area, kitchen table, etc. And what we're really concerned with is utilization, overall usage, but also how many people are using that space and how long are they spending within that space? And is that space full? Now, it's important to note that when we're analyzing these metrics, the foundation of what, meeting, uh, what a meeting looks like within that space is the real-time utilization data that is being captured by our sensors. So this is the example of what headcount might look like across a given day in a space. And you can see that by aggregating this data over time, we can really come to understand how many people are utilizing a space, at what time they're utilizing that space, and whether that space is ever at capacity. Next, we move on to the popular spaces dashboard. And this is a really useful dashboard to analyze what are the busiest and quietest space types within my office, as well as which space types are trending up or down. So in this case, you might be able to compare and contrast the space types which are trending down. So which are the spaces which people don't prefer using versus which are the space types that are seeing an increasing trend. In other words, people are spending more and more time in those spaces. And once again, being able to break up when those spaces are at their peak utilization, whether it be day of the week or hour of the day. So we now come to some of our more predictive dashboards, and this is an example of predictive utilization. So in this case, we're really analyzing our portfolio level utilization or for a particular building or floor. 
and trying to extrapolate out when I might hit certain utilization targets. So in this case, from extrapolating our portfolio utilization um, growth of 0.3% week on week, we can estimate that we might hit our 50% utilization target in mid 2023 or early 2023 in this case. And we can obviously compare and contrast how different floors and different buildings and when they're reaching their targets. Finally, for the purpose of real estate optimization, we have neighborhood balancing. So being able to recommend an optimal number of desks per team or per neighborhood, or another way of looking at that is how many extra people can you fit within that neighborhood without needing to give them more desks. And that's a very useful statistic because when you aggregate this up beyond just for an individual team, but across a floor or multiple floors, you arrive at how many extra people you can fit within an existing building without having to search for extra space, which is an incredibly powerful insight. Not only this, but being able to analyze trends over time and analyzing when certain teams will be full is also an invaluable stat. So that brings me to the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the analytics that XYSense can provide, and I'll see you in the next video.